Well, hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial by Ever Tutorials. Today's tutorial is based on Flight Simulator X, a fatal error. It comes very usually on Windows 7, I think. It always comes on Windows 7, to be quite honest with you. And um, some Vista users. And this, were, this, I was, it occurred to me at loads of times when I'm like flying around. And then I just, I was like really irritated by it and I was looking around and I found this fix. This is a UI automation core. This right here. The link is in the description. It's a media fire upload so you can just check it. It's just in the description. Um, yeah, so it's right here. When you download it, um, this is, yeah, when you download it, you, you pull out the folder, the the DLL file, file, open up my computer, program files, it's right here, Microsoft Games, it's right there, and Flight Simulator 2000, uh, uh, sorry, Flight Simulator X, it's right here, and as you can see, this is the Flight Simulator X folder, what you should do is just drag it in there, that's it. That's basically it. And um, something else you should do is find your little FSX. It's right here. Sorry about this. Yeah, it's right here. Right click properties and compatibility. Make sure this run this program in compatibility mode should be checked and Windows XP Service Pack 2. Run this and make sure run this program as an administrator apply and hit ok you, yeah that's basically it for this tutorial um please comment rate and subscribe and um tell me what you think of my intro i've i yes i know that i haven't asked this before but what do you think about it do you think it's cool it's you know it's nice and everything or do you think it's it's yeah it sucks anyways um this is f tutorials bringing you another tutorial and this tutorial was based on Flight Simulator X Fatal Error. And I hope this fixes all your problems with Flight Simulator X Fatal Error issues, which is very known and nobody's found the fix, but I think this worked for me and I and I even took it o on an overnight flight. I just left my, my computer running and I just left the plane flying on normal mode and I woke up and I found that it was still flying and it was working fine and everything. This, so I think, I guess that this should work for all of you. And if it does, please comment below saying that it does and rate this video up. Thank you.